What happens when a database company decides to go full open source? And why is Microsoft turning everything into Markdown? Today, we're covering tech pivots, open source robots, and the ultimate vibe coding swag wheel. The ultimate vibe coding swag wheel. We're back. Welcome back to another episode of The Download, the show where we cover the latest developer news and open source projects. Please like and subscribe. I'm Andrea Griffiths, Senior Developer Advocate, and I debug all this news so you don't have to. Let's get into it. And we have a birthday in the house. Let's start with the foundation of everything we do. Robert Nuss's integrated circuit from 64 years ago. While Jack Kilby was working with Germanium, Noise's silicon-based approach became the standard. That tiny innovation is why every single line of code we write today actually runs. How cool is that? Happy 64th birthday to the tiniest invention, one that's made our entire digital world possible. In open source news, Fauna, the innovative database company, is making a major pivot. After years of building this revolutionary document relational database that power hundreds and hundreds of businesses, they are sunsetting their service. The twist, they are fully committed to open sourcing their entire database technology. Their core technology, including unique transactional features, document relational data model, and their specialized database language, FQL, are all going to be released to the developer community. Sad news, but also kind of good news. When one database store closes, an open source window opens. And for more open source news, let's talk about Microsoft's market down. This is an open source gem. I super recommend you try it. It's a Python utility that converts almost any document into markdown format. And why would you want this? Well, because LLMs work best with clean structure markdown. So this is incredibly useful for developers building AI pipelines or really anyone who needs consistent document formatting. And now it offers an MCP. Yes, another MCP. This model context protocol server is for integration with LLM applications like Cloud Desktop, making document conversion and context sharing smoother than ever for developers and AI applications. So all of you Markdown lovers rejoice. You can now convert literally anything into your favorite format. And in GitHub news, GitHub and OpenAI unveiled two new reasoning models, O3 and O4 Mini. O3 excels at complex multi-step reasoning, while O4 Mini prioritizes speed and integration. Both support function calling and massive 200,000 token windows. And we also have news for security teams. CoQL now scans dependencies in private registries like Artifactory. All good news. And of course, we had to have robotics news. Hugging Face bought Poland Robotics and plans to open source Richie 2 a robot that can handle practical tasks like picking up fruit and organizing mugs. This acquisition is about democratizing robotics for them, making hardware and software designs accessible to developers everywhere. The future of robotics is open source, friends, and we are all invited to the party. And finally, Microsoft Bill is coming to Seattle, May 19th through the 22nd, and I will be there, the GitHub team will be there, and we're bringing the goods. We're gonna feature the Copilot price wheel. We have surprise product demos, and we'll be bringing this ultimate vibe coding keyboard. Oh, that's what that is. So that is the button for the price wheel. Okay. This conference is gonna shape up to be a perfect mix of learning and fun with plenty of opportunities for you to talk to GitHubers as well as watch live demos and explore the latest in developer tools and technologies. I hope to see you there. Mark your calendars. This is one dev conference you don't wanna miss. And that's all for now. Let me know in the comments which story caught your attention. Are you excited about open source robotics? Yes. <laughs> Have you tried market down yet? I recommend it. And if you like this episode, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to GitHub's YouTube channel for more developer news. I'll see you next time.